Hello everyone and in this video we will be discussing on a Spring Boot project demonstrating client server communication using WebSocket. In this video we will be discussing on the project. So the project is already created and here is the initial configuration to bootstrap your project. Let's head to the IDE. This is the build.gradle file which got generated and the only dependency with it is WebSocket. Let's head to the directory structure. On the left hand side you can see I have created two directories, clients and server. The clients will contain the client related code. The server will contain the server related code. So let's start. So first we are going to configure WebSocket server configuration. It will implement WebSocket message broker configurer and we are overriding two methods. We mark it as a configuration and we enable the WebSocket message broker. In the register storm endpoint, we are specifying the endpoint which will be required for the initial connection to the server. And then in the configure message broker, we configure the prefixes for message exchange. I will get back to it, but before that, we have two incoming and outgoing message files. The incoming message is the DTO which have only name, its getter setter, no a constructor, all a constructor. Outgoing message also have a content variable, it's getter setter, no arc constructor, all arc constructor. Let's head to the server controller. We define it as a controller and we create one method process message. It will receive incoming message and it will return an outgoing message. You can see over here, we are creating an outgoing message object using the incoming message name. So what will happen now, whenever a communication needs to be made or a message needs to be sent to the process message, this endpoint needs to be used along with the prefix we defined in the configuration. So if we get back to the configuration over here, the application destination prefix is root app. So any communication that needs to be done with the, this endpoint should represent like this. We will see this in the clients also. And the send to annotation specify the destination where the outgoing message needs to be sent. So this is the topic where the outgoing message will be sent and any subscriber to this endpoint or to this destination will get all the messages broadcasted to it by the server. So that's all at the server end. We have a configuration file. We have a controller, a method, which will listen to the incoming message and respond as an outgoing message. Now let's head to the clients. Here, I have created two clients. They both are same. The only difference is client one will have an incoming message name as Himanshu and client 2 will have an incoming message name as Henry. So if you visit any of the client, we are creating a WebSocket client using the standard WebSocket client and then we are creating a Storm client using the WebSocket client, setting the message converter and then we are creating our custom session handler. It's over here. So what we are doing is we are extending this Tom session handler adapter and overriding the two methods, the payload type and the handle frame. The payload type specify the type of the message which is ha handled by this handler. So if you see this handler is at the client side. So client will receive messages. That is the outgoing message from the server. So here we specify the type will be outgoing message. In the handle frame, Whenever a message is received, we are just printing it out. Now let's start the server. You can see our server is started. Now let's start the first client. Client 1. So as you can see over here, client 1 is sending the incoming message on the app process message endpoint. With an interval of 2 seconds, it will keep on sending the messages. Now this message, incoming message, will hit the server 
at the controller end on this endpoint it it will process the message and return the outgoing message on the topic messages now let's get back to the client and you can see over here we have subscribed our client to that topic messages destination and while subscribing we also specify our custom session handler which we created so if you see over here when we create this custom session handler object we pass it during the initial connection to the server the web socket server and then we get the session object so this get method will block the call until the session object is created and it will return it over here after that we subscribe the session to the topic messages so any message received on this destination will be taken care by our session handler and in our session handler we are printing out on the handle frame now let's run client 2 and see what will happen as i told you it have exact same configuration as client 1 with the only difference of the name our client 2 is started and you can see over here it not only getting the messages which it's sending it also getting the message from the client 1 and why it's happening because they both are subscribed to the same destination client 2 is also listening to topic messages and client 1 is also listening to topic messages and since at the server end over here the messages are being sent to topic messages so any client listening to this topic messages destination will get the outgoing message so if you can see over here it looks like a chat between two clients so client 2 is also able to view the client 1 messages and if i go to client 1 here i am also getting the client 2 messages let's get back to the client the client is sending message to the server on app process message and then server is responding on topic messages but what if we don't want that process message method to be invoked what if we want the two clients communicate with each other with no custom message from the server and for that what we can do is instead of sending it to the app process message the client will send directly to topic messages so this is client 1 and here client 2 so now client is sending to same destination and also listening from same destination one more ch change we need to make since now we are listening to topic messages the type will also be incoming message because we are sending incoming message to it and over here also it will be incoming message coming message and we say get name and here also it will be incoming message and we say get name Okay, let's rerun our clients. Yeah. So here you can see clients are interacting with each other on the same top destination. Let's get a view of our code one last time. We started with WebSocket server configuration, where we configured the endpoints and the destination prefixes. We created one incoming message, one outgoing message. and then a controller which will listen on process message and send on topic messages it takes incoming message returns outgoing message along with some additional information on the client side we have two clients differ only with the name we use the main method created a websocket client created a storm client setting the message converter 
create our custom session handler override two methods payload type and handle frame payload type will specify the type of message handler needs to handle and in the handle frame we are printing out the incoming data we use our session handler while setting up the connection we get the session from our connection using the get method over here using the session we subscribe to listen the topic messages destination and then using the while loop we send messages to the server with an interval of 2 seconds thank you everyone thanks for watching that's all in this video let me know if you have any suggestions or feedback in the comment section thank you